Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. Welcome if this is your first time stopping by. Today we are going to be doing my August TBR, and I'm going to be doing the same method that I did last month, which is the spin the wheel TBR prompt. Um, I know a lot of people do it out of the jar. I just honestly, like, I already have my TBR jar that I will be doing seasonally, so I'd rather do the spin the wheel per month. So it seemed that you guys liked it last month, so we're going to do it again this month, and I have somewhat updated this um, cart here next to me, and I also have a ton of books that I still want to get to, but I do really quickly want to mention that July was not a good reading month for me. I only got to a few books that were on my TBR, so a lot of the ones up here are still are, I still have not read, which you guys cannot see, so hold on. So all of these ones on the top row, like Archer's Voice, Finding Gene Kelly, Severance, which were three on my TBR, uh, along with Happy Place, I did not get to. So those are still up for fair game for the TBR prompts that come up. But I'm super excited. I am going to be picking 10. I know that's ambitious, as I did last month. It was very ambitious. But um, I like to have like a variety of options to pick from. So we are going to get started. And let's start with our first spin. A 2022 bestseller. Hmm. Okay, so I've actually pulled up the Amazon bestseller list for 2022. A lot of them were Colleen Hoover, and I'm honestly just not feeling the Colleen Hoover. Um, but obviously, Lessons in Chemistry, this was the Barnes & Noble um, like monthly pick. Um, I'm not sure if I'm really feeling a historical fiction. Then we also have The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. Mac Michael, I don't have no idea how to say his last name. Um, which may be an option because I am excited about a thriller because thrillers are super fast paced. But I think the one I'm actually going to go with is Emily Henry's Beach Read. Um, this is one of the only Emily Henry's that I've been super excited about reading. I did read Book Lovers. It was good, but like I didn't completely vibe with it. So I'm hoping that this one will be better. And honestly, I'm excited about this. So. I think we're gonna go with Beach Read. Okay, our next spin. Okay, a book with flowers on the cover. So I feel like this is a pretty easy and I also feel like I got this last month with Finding Gene Kelly. So this is definitely an option. Um, I could also go with Things We Hide from the Light, which is um, Nash's story. So that is a possibility. Um, let's see what else we got. I could also do By the Book by Jasmine Gilroy. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and I have really been looking forward to reading this. Um, so this one is definitely a possibility, and Archer's Voice is a possibility as well. I did not get back to Archer's Voice. This one I might pick up this month anyway, but honestly, I'm kind of feeling the by the book because Beauty and the Beast is my favorite story. I have read books from Jasmine Gilroy, this author, before, and I think this is going to be right up my alley, and it's also relatively short. It's only like 300 pages. So I think I'm gonna go with By the Book by Jasmine Gilroy. Okay, let's do spin number three. Okay, I added this one recently and this actually makes me super exciting. So this one says a retelling and I have quite a few of those on my TBR because I am a huge, like either whether it's, um, like a Disney retelling or reimagining or like a you know Greek mythology retelling so I don't know if I have much on here I did just do by the book which technically could have been for this prompt oh I know actually I think I'm actually going to do to kill a kingdom so this is a little mermaid retelling this is I believe a YA kind of fantasy um, and this is about um, a princess siren um, who the sea queen transforms into a human um, to go to get the heart of the prince and deliver it back to the sea queen. So I think this sounds really exciting. 
also like very like water themed. It is the last month of summer for me at least. Um, so I think we're going to go with Do Kill a Kingdom. Okay, let's go number four. This has a pink cover. Um, I actually feel like I got this again last month, but um, so I have two romances and a fantasy. I think we're going to add back in Severance by Ling Ma just to have a kind of like fresher, like medi like something in the middle that's not um, so romance heavy. So I think we're going to go with Severance by Ling Ma. Okay, number five. We're halfway there. A map in the beginning. Okay. Whew. Let's see. That means it's going to have to be a fantasy. Okay, so the beginning of Dance of Thieves has a map, so that's a possibility. Okay, so I keep my fantasy books in like a different area of the house, so I had to go look. But we're going to do Caraval, which has a map in the beginning. I'm super excited about this. I've heard amazing things and that it's kind of more like vibes, not as much plot. So we shall see, but I do really want to read the Caraval trilogy before I do Once Upon a Broken Heart. So I'm super excited about this. Okay, so we are on six. Okay, this one says has a color in the title. So, I don't know if I have any of those. Let's see. Okay, so I actually don't have one, so we are going to have to respin. I can't find one for the life of me, so let's go again. Number six. Start a new series. Well, Caraval does cover that. However, um, if I do, I think Archer's voice technically has like a couple books that come after it. Um, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I think it is time, finally, for the Thursday Murder Club series. I have been looking forward to this. I do hear that it could be, like, kind of hard to enjoy if you don't understand, like, British humor. But this kind of, like, murder mystery sort of, like, setup is right up my alley. And I love those kinds of books. So I think we're going to go with the Thursday Murder Club. Now, number seven. Okay, this is Spicy Romance, so that could fit pretty much any of these books. <laughs> um, I have a lot of romance. Um, I know, like if we're thinking like super spicy, I think we're going to do Do I Know You? Because there is a lot of spice in this book. It's by Emily, Emily Wiberly and Austin Sigmund Broca, and I haven't read anything from this duology, duo, author duo, um, but I've heard amazing things about their book, The Roughest Draft. And I really like the concept of this book. So I think we're going to do Do I Know You? And this basically is a about a couple who's married and then they go on a vacation and they pretend to be strangers. So I think that's really cool. We're on number eight. An aesthetic cover. So this is kind of like your own personal aesthetic or if you find a cover aesthetic um so i really enjoyed the other book i read by alisa sussman alisa sussman so i think it's time for me to read funny you should ask i think that this uh cover is really really cute um and i think that this is also like a good like quick read. It's only a little over 300 pages. So just to balance out some of the bigger books, I think this one is going to be the one I go for. If you aren't familiar, I think this is about an author who writes a story about a rock star, I believe, or a celebrity, some kind of celebrity. Um, and it has two different timelines of the present versus the past when she met this celebrity and they had like a fling or some kind of time together in the past. And then like something else is blooming in the future. So this is what we're going to go for. Okay, we're on number nine. Over 400 pages. 
because the next one is coming up in the fall. I think it's time to do Things We Hide From The Light by Lucy Score. So again, this follows Nash and what's her name? Lena or yeah, Nash and Lena. It's their love story and it's the second in the series of the Knock Em Out series. Um, I really enjoyed the first one, so I'm ho I have high hopes for this one, and I do really like Nash in the first one, like, he was one of my favorite characters, so I'm excited to do this one, but wow, that's gonna be, that's a lot of, a lot of books right now. Okay, number 10. A Book to Make You Cry. I think I had this one last month, and... A Book to Make You Cry, I think I'm going to go for, because I didn't get to it last month, Archer's Voice. I do hear a lot of people cry about this book. I think that I am going to really love this, and I love Mia Sheridan. I love her writing, so this is definitely going to be my last pick of the month. Okay, so this is our set of books. Um, I'll just run through them really quickly for you guys one more time. So we have Archer's Voice, Things We Hide From The Light, Funny You Should Ask. Do I Know You, Thursday Murder Club, Caraval, Severance by Ling Ma, To Kill a Kingdom, By the Book, and Beach Read. I have medium hopes about being able to finish this TBR, but if the books excite me, especially this pile is super exciting for me, then I think I'll get to it. So let me rearrange my my shelf here really quickly and then we will finish up the video okay so we have our august tbr up here i'm super excited about these books i hope i get to as many of them as i can don't hold me to it as you guys know tbrs are tricky um but i'm super excited and i will give you guys a wrap up next month of all of the books i read this summer um because i think that way we can kind of do them all at once instead of doing like separate videos for each month but yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in our next one and keep reading. Bye.